Two snowmobilers in two separate states buried by avalanches. The one you're about to see happened off the trails in the backcountry of the Utah mountains north of Salt Lake City. These are pictures of Travis's friends digging him out from under at least three feet of snow. Luckily, Travis was able to stick his hand out of the pile of snow. Still, he was underneath that pile for a full five minutes. The snowmobilers say avalanche vests and rescue beacons saved Travis. The other avalanche happened in Gunnison, Colorado. Cody Strong was snowmobiling off trail when out of nowhere, a surge of snow threw him off his snowmobile. He shots her from his helmet cam. Alyssa Chin of affiliate KKTV has more for you. I honestly felt like I was just literally flying through the air, like, and I mean, like I felt like impact on me and everything. Cody was swept away in an avalanche. He says the snow ripped him off his snowmobile and was taken roughly a hundred feet. It ended up being like a literally a freight train that just took me away. And as fast as I said that, like it was done and over with. Like, I mean, it was just see it, you can't see anything, you feel your body going through motions and then it's done and over with and you're stopped. Once the panic stopped and he saw that all his friends were okay, he took a minute to let everything that happened sink in. We literally survived an avalanche. Like that was, that could have been way worse than it was.